Sometimes it takes a few minutes to start broadcast. Hello, testing, testing. As soon as viewers pop up, then it, uh, okay, it says live. Okay, well, I presume we're live. Let's let's wait for a few viewers. So right now it says zero viewers, so I don't, I don't believe it until I, oh, seven viewers. Okay, we're, really? we're in business. Yay. Okay, hi, guys, and welcome to the show. I'm joined by Duncan Casey, my friend in uh, the UK. How are you, sir? You. And and uh, a quick wristwatch check. Oh, uh, today it is the Pepsi. It's the it's what's on everyone's mind, it seems, at the moment. So right. we are... Is that, am I allowed to say Hoffman? I don't know if you're allowed to say that anymore. No, no yeah, all <laughs> no, right. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'll stop saying it when, when things are confirmed or, or you know. Um, That's fair enough. Yeah. So, how have you been? You've, you've got married. Congratulations. I got married. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, I did. Um, and we had an amazing day, and it was, uh, yeah, beautiful in the, in the British summertime. Um, in fact, it was a month ago today. Which uh, is oh, wow. crazy. Time flies, but yes, I mean it's 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 incredibly hot here at the moment. But which yeah. gave us a really lovely sunny day. So yeah, yeah. nice, yeah. nice. Um, so uh, what have you been up to? What have you been up to apart from getting married? Uh, I have been working pretty much nonstop since May um, on a couple of pretty big projects actually which is which has been quite exciting one of which i can talk about one of which i can't right really um or definitely not um one of which is a the, the first one is a, a western called a fistful of lead um which will be should be out in the states i think in december nice um, i saw the trailer it was on through. it was on facebook right I th I'm oh sure, yeah oh, yeah okay. i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i saw the trailer it looked it looked really like did you tell me it was where it was shot somewhere? It was shot in the UK, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Wales, uh, Shropshire, and um, Kent. Right, <laughs> right. But, uh, but it's set in Appalachian country, so it's very similar to um, right. To those right, parts right. Of the it looked really impressive, I have to say. No, thank oh, you. I got yeah, the, yeah. I got the chat going. Cool. Okay, now I can um, see what everybody's. Let's talk about watches, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enough of my nonsense. <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> oh, you sold the you sold the um, Sapphire Sandwich Speedmaster. I did. I sold. In fact, I sold it to to a lovely gentleman called out to be a big fan of yours. Completely by coincidence. Hmm. Uh, and then when I told him that that had actually featured on the channel and when you came to the UK and that that very watch was on the he lost his mind right. um, but uh, in a really nice way but yes i sold that and nice. um i'm currently on the waiting list for a, another watch right um, are you, can are you gonna say what oh we're not know, there. Know, yeah go on go on yeah yeah um uh, I form part of what we're going to talk about as well um but um i'm on the i'm on the list for a black bay 58 nice. um which i'm really excited to see i haven't seen one yet but i'm I'm hoping they are. It is what I imagine it to be, which is essentially right. a classically proportioned cover. Nice. So it's it, what is the what is the diameter of the of the fifty eight? Thirty nine mil. Um, oh, but it's nice. the thickness as well. It's, it's 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 the same thickness as a sub. So it's right. It's, per, like as far as I, it's what that design I think should have been from the get go. Yes. Which is a, you know what I mean? Like rather than much as I love the the Black Bay anyway, but yeah. it, the, the, is that really tall case seems slightly out of whack with what's going on there. So I, I, think... I have to agree. I have to agree. I, I uh, that's part partly why I, I had the red one when it um, a couple of years ago, and I sold it. it. It's it's a beautiful watch, but it was it was a chunky one. Um, mm. Let me just do a couple of uh, shout outs. Um, sorry, excuse me. Oh my gosh, the trailers, um, the comments. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, good evening. Uh, Jack says, Duncan, fistful of watches. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You bet your shit. I can't nice. say what I was <laughs> No, it's okay. You, you can yeah. say, I can't, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, howdy from Cornwall. Uh, that's from John. 
um, uh, former. I hope I'm saying. I hope I'm saying that right, guys. Uh, uh, he says greetings from Russia. Fantastic. Hey. Uh, Pixel Vogue, hello from Oxford. Uh, flipping roasting, he says. It is. It is flipping roasting. Even I'm closer to the the, the, the other one, Cambridge, but it's uh, right. Yeah, it's warm. Um, that I I unfortunately I, I don't I don't read Hebrew, but it says hello from uh, Israel. No doubt, pure class. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, greetings from to uh, Toronto. Uh, that's D Clan. Stephen says uh, uh, greetings from sweltering Blighty. <laughs> David, uh, hello from Berlin. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello. Um, hey from the Caribbean says William. Oh, my uh, my my original place of birth. Oh yeah, original. that's right. Yeah, that's well, right. depending on where he is, but or she, but yes, yeah, from the Bahamas originally. So. Nice, nice. I feel like I'm back there right now. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it humid over there? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's muggy and it's that thing you get out of the shower and you just can't get right. it dry. And, yeah. Oh like man. Oh yeah, that's the worst. It's yeah. it's yeah. Um, uh, Jorg, oh, uh, no, is it Jorge? Oh, hey. oh, says hello from Mexico. I apologize my pronunciation, guys. Uh, um, oh, Jeremy's in. Hello, Jeremy. Dan South. Um, <laughs> higher from this is HP HKP Seven Nut says higher from Charlotte's Charlotte, uh, that's North Carolina, formerly Essex. God, that's a bit <laughs> of a change, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a, a diversion. Yeah. Um, oh, talking of Tudors, I'm gonna do uh, a live unboxing. I've I've never done a live unboxing in here. We have Ooh. the Tudor GMT. So, just came in. Very I'll, cool. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll I'll kind of do it towards the end of the the live show. Um, nice. Timeless Luxury have have managed to get their hands on one, and this eventually. After I review it, some lucky member of the gentry is going to uh, it's going to be raffled away. I think it's going to be given away to to no one way. of you guys. Yeah, yeah, very That's amazing. Yeah, and and I've got to say, massive thank you to Timeless Luxury and Tesco. For, uh, Tesco, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got England on my mind. Um, Frisco, Texas. There we go. Uh, Yes, they, they, I, I'm pretty sure they're an authorized dealer for true. They're an authorized dealer. They got Lange, Omega, Bremont, a lot of the big heavyweights, um, Seiko, Grand Seiko, obviously. Um, and yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna hold a raffle so you guys can actually win. And it will be the same one featured in the review that, that, that I'm gonna unbox. And I've also brought my GMT to quickly do a kind of, Quick comparison. I wish this had arrived um, when when we had the the uh, the other GMT, the the new one. But unfortunately, just literally, they missed each other by a day. Um, <laughs> anyway, they are, they are the, the watches of the moment, and they, they yeah. Both, I mean, it it's yeah, it seems crazy. The world's gone Pepsi mad at the moment. Yeah, it has. It has. Um, um, I, why did you, can I if, ask if why you went for? Oh, you said the size, right? Right. Over uh, what the the G well instead of the new GMT? Yeah, because I presume that's going to well, be the same size as the Black Bay the regular. It's the same. Yeah, it's forty one. It's the same case as the regular Black Bay. Right. Um, I I have a GMT. I have a Pepsi GMT. Oh, of course. Like, same, of course. You, yeah. <laughs> why would I? You know. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, I mean, to what be year honest, is yours? Two thousand and three, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, two thousand and three. Yeah, it's right on the cusp of it's still got the lug holes, but it's got the solid end links. Um, so it was right before they transitioned to get rid of the lug holes. Right. It's so still got those. Yeah. But nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, I'm just do a couple more. Sorry, this this iPad. Uh, James says greetings from Edinburgh. Uh, Hello, James. Hello, yeah. <laughs> uh, J, okay. uh, JLB, Lewis, our good friend Lewis, sporting the new Explorer to 16570. 
whilst in Estonia visiting family. Very cool. Well, have yeah. fun. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Exploring with his explorer. Very nice. Um, TGV, hello from LA. Wristwatch check. Have my Fortis Cosmonaut chronograph. Oh, nice. Well, snap, Very snap. Cool. So have I, uh, that's mine as well. Uh, Duncan, have I shown you this? Uh, yes, I think you did a while ago. Yeah, on on yeah on camera, but um, yeah. not on that strap though. It looks very good. Yeah, this is um, the it's a limited edition. I, I I sold the other one, the older one. It was a Valjou, and I've got this one with the Lemania five one zero zero, which is it's a really rare piece. I only wear it indoors because I don't want the sun to fade the the, the beautiful hands because uh, the right. Um, but it's the Lemania. I mean, it's it's obviously a prestigious uh, movement, but it's ugly as sin. It's one of the most ugliest looking <laughs> movements I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, it's but the the it has the um, the minute hand instead of on a sub dial on the actual main dial for the chronograph. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah, and I've got to say, when you use it, it's so different than having a sub dial because you're not squinting trying to read the little dial. You just instantly right. can read it at a glance and say, oh, you know, five minutes has passed or whatever it is. Um, it's a really yeah. clever way of doing it. And I, I don't know why other, uh, you know, chronographs or movements do that. Um, I mean, I don't know why that's not a more prevalent thing, but I suppose why the reason why they normally keep it in a subdial is because so it doesn't, when you, if you're running the chronograph, could you, I suppose you might confuse, I, I mean, I'm assuming they're very different colors and shapes, but um, yeah, if you, I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, what they did, I'll, I'll start the chronograph so they can, so you'll see. Um, oh yeah. You got the seconds hand and then for the minutes, it's got the little jet. Oh, uh, okay. There. And um, it yeah, it's a pretty, it, it, it it's quite relaxing watching it move. Yeah. It's, it's really, you know, because you, it's so big, you get to see it move. Uh, but That's other than that, the layout uh, is, um, it's a limited edition with the, the International Space Station, Space Station on the dial. Uh, so, oh, it's just gone high definition again. I can see it. So oh, I'll, I'll keep talking, so I'll come back. There you go. Can you see that? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah. beautiful that's that's uh, that's stunning man that's a beautiful dial cool thank you man yeah oh very cool very cool yeah um and it's got yeah. the screw down pushes which i really really love yeah there's something about unscrewing them and engaging them and oh i don't know well, that's see that's another see there's another one for me is, is the black bay chrono uh, that's a right. much maligned watch but actually i think it's a beautifully made thing yeah it's just it's too big like when i've tried yeah. it on it's okay on a strap actually i have to say when I've, I've tried it on a strap and that does take away some of the heft but it just it, it just needs to be just in yeah. a bit just one mil know. off that and it would be perfect it would be absolutely yeah. perfect. I, I totally agree well everybody's going smaller now i wouldn't be surprised if uh they'll make a smaller one i wouldn't i i wouldn't be surprised if fortis will go smaller um because their new cosmonauts are massive. They're like tanks. I mean, they're really, um, but but they're they're deliberately big because, well, you know, it's made for Russian cosmonauts. <laughs> yeah, there is that. Yeah. yeah, I suppose if you're going to strap it to a spacesuit, it needs to be quite yeah chunky. Yeah, and they're just ridiculously built. I mean, I kind of almost wanted to have one just because they're just such incredibly like they're over engineered they really are yeah mm -hmm. um, anyway let's check out the um oh did, so did you 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 went and tried the uh tudor chronograph i have looked one yeah. yeah 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 right and i loved it the finishing on it is amazing for the yeah. price point i think amazing amazing piece do you I remember really how much it was going for if, if you don't mind in the uk i think the retail on them is something like three and a half um but i mean there's room to negotiate the guy even offered me that without me saying anything you know he was kind of like oh you know we could we could figure something out kind of thing. Mm. um and um but i think this year funnily enough this year just speaking to my ad 
um this is the first year where i've been in there and they've been like no no discounts like if you want a gmt or a 58 you go on the list and it's it's like rolex you know it's like you're not uh... um suddenly it's that whole chestnut of like well you know yeah no discounts and you'll be lucky if it comes in and blah blah blah, blah you know um yeah. So it's interesting that it's gone that way because it's never been like that before with Tudor. It's always been like, oh yeah, they'll be in soon, and you know, don't worry, you'll get one. And that's yeah. So um, what happened the, to your 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 AP uh, Royal Oak? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> weddings and such <laughs> things. Um, car. Well, yeah, n life. Unfortunately, yeah. But that's you know, still, you inspired still, me with that. It rubbed off, and I was I was like obsessed with Royal Oak. You know. I don't know why. Well, I go through. I go through obsessed with it, and, and, I, and then I and then I stop. Well, I go through periods of being obsessed with it, right, and wanting it feverishly, and then um, it goes away again. But it but it's always there. It's always yeah. there. Going, you want it, don't you? You <laughs> want it, darling. Come on, we get testing. Yeah, and then and the I'm um, cave in, but. Um, it is still there, but I, but I, I I blow hot and cold a bit. With it. I still love it. I, I yeah. still love one. But you know, yeah. when I think about how much budget that will take up versus other things I want, it kind of gets pushed back a bit. Yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Um, let's see what people are saying. Um, oh, Owen. Oh, my good friend Owen. How are you, sir? He says the retail in the UK is two thousand seven hundred ninety pounds. For the chronograph, uh, yeah, I presume so. Let's see. Uh, That's not bad. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole conversation going on. It's it's fascinating. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I get sucked into the, the um, uh, o o two Y says I have a Fortis Cosmonaut and love it. The size is perfect for uh, for, for him. Very cool. Uh, yeah. What what is, what is the size? The new one is forty two, but it's it's like it wears big. You know, it's yeah. it's it's tall. It's like the lugs are really like heavy. Um, then there's the the Fortis Cosmonaut Classic, which is that it's a little bit more Speedmaster esque and and rather slim down. Um, it uh, has a fixed tacky. I can never remember. It's tachometer, it's tachymeter, tachymeter. tachymeter yeah, no. um, it's it's very kind of well, like the name implies, more classic. Uh, the the then you have the big one with the the B B forty two or whatever it is with the the rotating bezel. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, they're, they're a lovely watch. You know them and Zin. I do need to get into a Zin at some point. I think. Yeah. As, as yeah, I'm surprised you, you didn't go for the the. Um, I just got it back actually. I lent it to a friend of a friend, and um, big mistake. I'm not lending watches anymore. <laughs> Why? What happened? <laughs> it took, took three months to get the watch back. You know. Oh, uh, okay. I see. You know? That's how it is. <laughs> and then you know, and then trying to avoid me, and it's like what. Oh God! Anyway, um, I didn't do that, did I? I no, 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 no. Because <laughs> I, I no, loved that. It, thing. Yeah, no. After you returned it, I lent it to somebody else, and I missed it so much. Because um, I, I, I only got to wear it for for a week or so before it, I lent it out again. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. Justin, oh, my good friend Justin says uh, Duncan should have sold the AP. Royal Oak to TGV. I well, Duncan didn't have one. He was he was yeah. you were like lusting after one, and then it kind of in, slightly inspired me. Um, yeah, I yeah, I, I I know what you mean. It kind of it comes and goes. The the mm. obsession with the. Um, I suppose it's when I'm coveting a, a higher end piece. Yeah, is when I'm when I'm like yeah. That's when I suppose it, it crops up again. But mm. here we are. Look, I've just found so the retail in the UK on a Black Bay uh, Chrono is three thousand six hundred and ten pounds on a bracelet. Oh, okay, on a bracelet. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jay Alva says, "Gentlemen, can we get to the unboxing, please?" Oh, you'll have to wait, my friend. Mm -hmm. you'll have to wait. It's, <laughs> it's still early. It's still early. Yeah. Stick around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, would you uh, would you like to uh, mention? Um, would you like to talk about uh, your your channel plans and and um, that at all? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well, I mean, um, we obviously got in contact through uh, another channel that I used to do um, film related content for, and um, I'm now partnering up with my my very good friend Richard Jackson um to to do a new channel that will be very much similar sort of content um with his acerbic wit right and yeah <laughs> sort of uh, um experience as an actor in the film industry but we're, we're going to be sort of doing lots of sort of film related goofery and nonsense and nice, nice. Um, and the channel it's actually this is the first time i've ever said it out loud on any you know this will be the first place to to hear its name uh, it is going to be called Valcasting, which is a sort of wink and a nod to Val Verde is a fictional uh, country that's mentioned in oh, Predator, Mondo, Predator oh. uh, and something else which I forget and I should have remembered but I didn't. Um, um, so yes, Val Verde or VVB, Val, Val Verde Broadcasting nice. will be the name of the channel. Nice. Um, Are you going to have like a... Like a like a bamboo hut with like palm trees and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a favela or something. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna we, maybe maybe we, we're working on the um, all the promotional artwork and everything um, and and all that, which will probably be very much themed like a, some sort of uh, South American uh, yeah. communist country or something. But but yeah, so um, right. and um, within that, you know, we've got a show um, that's called uh, It Ain't Broke, and uh, that's very much kind of film discussion uh, show that half an hour we're also going to be doing podcasts sort of audio podcasts and and kind of uh, around things like talking about pitching ideas for how to make films better that kind of thing nice. that sort of stuff and we may look at doing commentaries and, and more long form stuff as well like we used to do so yeah so that's uh, cool. very exciting cool. and the, currently the channel is um it's going to be uh, richard richard jackson's channel is going to be turned into that Ah, right, right. So right. it is on there. It was going up through that channel. So if you're a subscriber to his channel, it will become our channel. And that's right. where it will all be. I'll, um, so if I put a link, should I put the link to his channel now? That the... would be amazing. Thank you. Yeah. If you put the link to his channel, uh, Valverde Broadcasting, in short, short order. So, um, right. yeah, if you subscribe to him, you'll be subscribed to that. Cool, cool, cool. I will yeah. do that. Thank I'll you. I'll do that. Yeah um so what are what are the uh have any of you guys ever owned a pocket watch says watch guy uh, you have right yeah i have my grandfather's one which kind of yeah. got me into the into the whole thing um how about you uh yes in fact i was about to say no but i do i have one in here which was a gift to my father from some um bosnia when he was there during the war um someone gave him as a thank you because i think he helped get them out um of sarajevo mm. um and i don't know where it is that's terrible isn't it it's in it's, it's somewhere safe but it's one of those things where i put it somewhere so safe that even i can't find it <laughs> um but it's a lovely so, little little tiny one um yeah so is I'm it so, so terribly what, what is the the brand can you remember no, I don't think it had a brand name. Uh, about? Talk amongst yourselves, people talk amongst right. yourselves. Off right. off <laughs> uh, amongst the. So, what, so what? Do you mind my asking? What was your father doing there? So um, he was in charge of um, Sarajevo's water supply. He was a water engineer. Oh, here it is. Um, no, it doesn't have a brand on it, but um, he. Um, yeah, he worked for um, UNICEF and ODI and places like that. But he was basically in charge of making sure that Sarajevo had clean uh, drinking water. Wow. Um, for, for, yeah, so it was a big, big thing. But there's, there's the little, try not to, there's no, there's no, um, there's no brand on it at all. It's just a uh, wow. wee little, and I don't think it, it's not ticking. Unfortunately, I think it probably. Um, I think you can open the back, and I'll try and show you the movement. Uh, nice. What a what a what a wonderful way to remember that uh, that time. Mm. 
Oh, it was, yeah, they, it, I know that it was uh, incredibly, it was a very important thing to a lot of people who didn't have any, anything to give, you know, and, and I know dad would have said, no, but, you know, generous and really wanted to, to thank him. And, and so that's how they did it. Yeah. Wow. Just, wow. Yeah. That's, that's a really cool story. Why is it pocket watches always have the best stories, you know? <laughs> yeah. well, I guess because they were very valued things. I, I don't know. I mean, assuming that it was very, it was like sort of not compare it to a smartphone or something like that but it, it was the thing you carried around with you all day and you had a very personal relationship with yeah and yeah so i suppose it's a very valued thing i mean i guess wristwatches are the same too but, i think yeah. i think also because pocket when pocket watches were at their height it's not like you could look at the oven and have you know there wasn't any quartz digital display on the on the microwave or you know, like it was, it was the one t time telling device that probably a whole family would have and you'd set, you know, all the clocks and it was much more, you know, you, you, you're dependent on this little device. Um, mm. We kind of take watches for granted now, but anyway, we're not, we're not going to get into the whole discussion of, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, you know, if, is it redundant and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, Oh, is there super chats? Have I ignored the super chats? Oh God! Oops, sorry. Um, Hon Hondanes says, uh, "Which of the following makes you chuff the bits? The Tudor GMT, another Chelsea partnership win. The don't know what that is. Or Charles Frodge from Pocket Watch. Um, that's a good question. Um." Well, the, I think the the Charles Frodsham because it's 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 a family heirloom and well the Tudor GMT I haven't I haven't um, oh my things my things gone oops uh, the Tudor GMT I haven't unboxed so I can't honest, honestly say you guys know I don't I'm not, I don't talk about watches unless I've um, held them in the hand and you know had some time with it I mean I'll give you my initial impressions but. Um, yeah, the Charles Frodsham easily. I mean, it's it's prestigious, important. He was a Royal Warrant holder. Um, he was famed. He, I think he's the longest, the watchmaker, the, the 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 British watchmaker that has made chronometer certified watches. No, sorry, marine chronometers for the longest consistent period, longer than you know, longer than Arnold, wow. longer than. Uh, Harrison longer than all of them um, so mm -hmm. I think that's a remarkable bit of British horology and, and um, although mine is not a marine uh, chronometer it's it's you know it's still um, having his signature and him work you know having worked and uh, created this this pocket watch I think it's really really important um, for sure yeah, yeah. Beautiful piece, and it, you know, it's these things have meaning way beyond the sum of their parts as well. Uh, know, yeah, it's... absolutely. Yeah, very, very true. Um, let's see. I don't know why my is my chat working. Only a few problems here. Alex Holt says, "Who is TGV?" Well, that's me. Uh, so, well, welcome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and this is Duncan, by the way. Hey. Uh, yeah, have a look back at our videos on uh, our shows on the uh, bond watches because uh, Duncan's uh, the, the, the connoisseur of bond <laughs> um, wow. uh, love the ho the Hoyer stopwatches yes they, you can find them for an absolute bargain I, I saw one for 70 bucks on eBay just the other day beautiful wow. condition um, used on vintage car races uh, or race cars such as Ferrari in the Emilia Maglia I think what was it Mille Mille Mille, 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 yes, I should know better. Um, yeah, <laughs> you can get the yeah, you can get a, a beautiful higher um stopwatch for under a hundred dollars on, on eBay. Um, amazing. Let's see what else. What else? People are discussing which get the SKX 007 or the 009, that's the ultimate. SKX question always. That's 
I'm thinking about that too, you know. Oh, really? Um, you want to get um, in this case? I knew it some, well, it's one of those things where you just go, you know, I think it has to be done at some point. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it's a very easy decision to make because they're not very expensive at yeah. all. And, um, but the more I'm sort of, I'm getting slightly obsessed with, um, it's one of those things, it's almost like when you're sort of, you know, there's something over there and you're kind of going, oh, what's that? What's that? You know, and then you get mildly obsessed with yeah. it. And then, because I'm now I'm watching lots of um, YouTube videos on modding them and all the things oh, right. you can yeah, do. Yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and so I'm like, oh, yeah, that looks quite cool. So, yeah, I am, I am potentially considering one of those as a, to have as a little project watch. And yeah, you should do see that. See what I can you do. do that. I, yeah. I think modding is so cool because you can, you make it, it it's like a bespoke, um, well, it's like bespoke tailoring or it's, it's, it's made exactly. Mm. how you want it and there's so many combinations um it, it's not that difficult i i just i'm so paranoid about dust and and um you know i think when i'm a bit older and i've got a bit more time i'll probably i'll probably do one you know um, yeah myself rather than hiring but that's the thing i i hired uh, jeff at watchmaker 4 and he has all the he has the pressure testing equipment. He has, um, he regulates it. I mean, within cost parameters, and it's just he, wow. he, he goes to town. And, and also the equipment he uses to do the coating, uh, uh, the cerakoting coating is like, it's like what's used for firearms. It's it's not it's not cheap or easy to do. I could I couldn't do that, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, th this this, but eventually I would like to do one, one my own. Uh, Oh, Jeremy's just text me. What's going on? Oh, you have super chat. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Uh, it's Finch, Finchy, Finchy says, uh, hello, Finchy. He says, uh, what's the best watch to wear whilst enjoying a gin and tea? Well, if you have enough of them, I, I would expect any watch, really. Uh, any watch. I expect yeah. a GMT. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> um, Very nice. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> no, it's so terrible. It's good. Um, <laughs> partridge esque. Yeah, um, it is. Right, right, yeah, rather partridge esque. Um, I think, well, it has to be waterproof, especially if you have yeah. too many uh, GNTs. Um, yeah. yeah, diver. Um, I would imagine you're going to be at a bar, so the ultimate, uh, I don't know, blam pan 50 fathoms, you know, because it's kind nice. of, yeah, it's got, it's got that understated class to it, uh, really expensive, That's true, on a budget, yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd get, I forget the reference, but the, 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 the sake of five that's blank pan esque, um. Yeah, that's my answer. What about no, you? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. What would I have? Um, that's a good question. Well, in an, in an ideal world, it would be, I guess, so now the, the obsession has started again. Uh, yeah, Royal Oak would look really nice, wouldn't it? If you were to, I'm just imagining myself, there's a, few, there's a couple of bars in the Bahamas that are right either. There's one in a marina that's beautiful, or there's one um, by the beach. Or hut type vibe. So I guess if I was at the nice. Marina one, it would be the Royal Oak because it fits in with. Or maybe actually, oh no, I know what I would have. I'd have the Rose Gold Yachtmaster on the Oyster Flex rubber strap. Oh, that is what I'd be wearing. That's what I'd be wearing at the yacht club. Oh. And then, um, yeah, or and in the Bahamas as well, the gold just fits in perfectly. Yeah. Or if I was at the Beach Hut Bar, um, like a beach bum, I think I'd have. Uh, an S either an SKX or a maybe a Black Bay, maybe the Black Bay. Yeah. On a on yeah. a on a NATO strap. Yeah. Nice, nice, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the yacht masters. The yacht masters don't don't really get enough attention. I I, I feel. They, they yeah no not at all. I mean they've done some great stuff with them giving it you know the blue and the rhodium dial. Yes, um, on the I, I reviewed stuff. that one. It was gorgeous, really gorgeous. Mm um mm -hmm. robert oh my good friend robert hello robert how are you um uh, they're discussing yeah you're gonna call through 
uh, in-house movements. What was the question? Let's have a look back. Uh, uh, oh, they're discussing the master compressor. I've never actually, oh. I've seen them, but I haven't worn them and, you know, I, have you? Uh, master compressor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, um, I've tried them on. Um, and the, 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 the Jaeger that always, um, sort of sung to me was the master geographic mm -hmm. and they did a compressor master geographic, right. which was nice. I like that. The, I like the chronograph as well, but they're very slab sided. I mean, it seems to work for the, for the, um, for the, f weirdly, the design seems to work, but they, um, I do like the sort of they, they have a very satisfying um heft to them and they yeah. work very well um yeah. they just and they didn't take off so they can be had for amazing value on the on the used market now because right. have jaeger dropped the master compressor line i i don't know it's it's to be honest uh when i think of jlc that's it's like the last jlc i ever think of because it's it's not a kind of genre of watch i associate with the brand you know yeah um obviously you think of reversal but i think of memo boxes and i think of petite little dress watches and it's almost yeah. like the polar opposite of what they're about um yeah i don't know if anybody knows in the in the chat uh, let us know if they've been uh, discontinued um that would be interesting uh, uh chris says my super chat oh um how do i get back oh here we go sorry chris i apologize a uh, quick review of my rolex milgauss uh Bre brightling navi grand seiko f9 grand seiko high b omega seamaster chrono uh vintage gold universal geneve a marine master 300 collect oh that's his collection wow very cool that's that's an amazing collection love the milgauss so underrated it's like i think after the explorer it's probably one of the classiest kind of that it's that understated tool watch that role not, not enough people talk about the milgauss in my opinion do you know what do you know what though i i agree but i my brother-in-law has the one with the blue dial and mm. i i think it's a stunning looking thing my mm. only reservation with it, with it is, is I wish they'd brushed the case. I, I, I'll take the polished center links on the bracelet, but I wish they'd brushed the, even just the lugs of the case yeah, and made it more I like, you know, you, know the, you know, the current Air King is essentially yeah. the exact same watch. It's just got a different dial on it and it's brushed rather right. than um, polished. Has, has the and, Air King also got a, a Faraday cage? Yeah. Or is, yeah. It does. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is, well, this is what I've been told. Uh, and it's in the same right. case. It's got the same magnetic properties. Right. Um and um yeah, That's and you cool. just think, well, if it, if if I could transplant uh a Mill Gauss's dial and movement and put it in the the Air King case with a right. you know, with all that. Do you like um, do you like that Air King, the new dial with the bit of green on it? I didn't until I saw one in real life and tried one on right. and actually in person it's nice. It is yeah. nice. It works. It's one of those weird things that does not work in pictures at all. Yeah. It looks horrible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> when you see it in real life, you go, uh, I get it. Uh, it, it yeah. For some reason it does that yellow and green and black weird yeah. looking, but it works. Like, it looks like a bit of like cockpit instrumentation. And yeah. Yeah. I like it. I was uh, a fan. I have to say. Cool. Um, Chris, I think Chris's collection is amazing. My personal favorite is, of his is the Navi Timer. You guys know I'm a massive. Where's my Navi Timer? I don't. I'll put it away. Um, I love the Navi Timer. Two two Grand Seikos. Amiga Seamaster Chrono. Is that the old one or the or the or the uh, the new one? Uh, I used to have the seven seven fifty based, uh, the Bond in Bond Blue. Uh, I yeah. love that thing. That's, I, I had it in, when I was living in Barcelona. It was just perfect for living in, in a seaside uh, city. Uh, vintage Gold Universal Genève. I love Universal Genève. I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, I've, I've got two of them now. And it's, it's really? absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I bought a pole router like uh, two weeks ago. Oh, okay. Um, it doesn't have the the... the 
the micro rotor, but it's one of the early bumper, and it, you know, it's a Genta, so. Um, oh, you, you did a video on it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I saw it. Of course I did. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, lovely, lovely thing. Yeah, I really need to to get you to. I suppose I've I've been at a position because I've been getting, been you know just getting married and all that thing. The buying went on hold, but I do need to get and it, and it will you know because I believe we're going to be talking about kind of what you could buy with a with the subs. Uh, oh yes, of, of course. Yeah. Um, I I think I do need to get into some some uh, some pieces like that mm. um, because there, there's a lot on offer there. But, yeah. For sure, mm. we should um, really address that that that, that question because it, it was a comment I saw pop up. It popped up again today in, on Facebook. Some, but it was with the GMT, and they were saying uh, they were considering selling their whole entire collection. It was an impressive collection as well. They had a, uh, a Seiko Alpinist. Uh, they had, um, I think, a Tudor Day date. Uh, they had an Amiga. Couple, some some heavyweight pieces. I think it was about five or six, and they were going to tr trade it all in for a GMT. And then I had the same question two videos back or three videos back, saying, "Should I buy? Should I have? Should I get three watches or or just the one sub?" Um, yeah, I, I hand it over to you. What, what's your opinion on that? I think it depends on the state of your. Collection, think you get what you want. I'm a bit, I'm a firm believer in if you have your heart set on something, mm. you know, you need to get it. You can't sort of go, oh, but I, I'll go buy these other three things because it's like sort of having a scratch, you know, having an itch on your left foot and scratching your hands and your right foot. You know, it's like, you know, you need to, you must go and scratch that itch. But um, I do think if you, if you've got a big collection or you've got, well, this isn't going to be the last watch you can buy for a long time, or something, or something like that. If if mm. if you've if you've already, you know, if you've got a a bunch of watches already, then I think there's something to be especially looking at. I I I came up with three watches that I would buy that would hopefully cover various bases. Two of so them. So, uh, are we talking about a, a, a contemporary ceramic sub? So, about eight yeah. eight grand is is that that would be your budget? Yeah, well, so I've I've looked at I've done all of this on brand new retail price. Right. Obviously, these pieces you'd be able to get a discount on on them and stuff as well. So, but okay. I, I I thought I'll do it for the interest of science. Okay. I would I would look at it um, uh, from that. So a, a new sub here, if you can get one, just the the black um, version, the lunette noire, uh, <laughs> is is six thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. Um, wow, and I I thought. The back, because it's Black Bay fifty eight. That's two yeah. two thousand five hundred and sixty. You're you're getting a sub essentially, right? In any event, um, Longines Big Eye Chronograph. Have you seen one of those? Yes. Oh wow, that's an interesting choice. That's 1, completely 000. out. Of, yeah, I didn't expect that. Nice. That is a beautiful little watch, and it's got a very nice movement in it. Which is a right. column wheel or um, chronograph. One thousand nine hundred and forty pounds. Sorry, uh, how, and how much thought, is that? Uh, One thousand nine hundred and forty. But get it's a Longines. You'll get that. You'll get it a lot off that. I, th I think on the second hand market, they're holding their own quite well. Actually, yeah. they're, 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 they're they're not too bad, but um, and they're very popular. And it's a mm. beautiful little thing. It's a Flieger, yeah. you know, basically. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a stunning little thing. And then um, I thought, right, well, I've got my chronograph. I've got my diver. What else would I go for with my remaining uh, budget? And then I thought, uh, Oris Big Crown complication. Didn't you have one of those? Uh, yeah, I, I had the uh, Moon Phase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, had, I had a uh, not Petra. It was um, I think it was just Day Date with a with a Moon Phase. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, oh, see, I, that that would be a dress watch, I guess. That'd be kind of more dressy piece, and the dial on those is stunning. And I was yes. thinking one thirteen hundred pounds, so that would leave me with four hundred and fifty pounds left. And look, the rule was you have to pick three watches, but I figured four hundred fifty quid, I'd be out there SKX. Yeah, and get yeah. <laughs> nice. Modded. Nice. Wow. I think that's a okay. nice little three to four watch collection. Yeah. For the same price as the sub. Yeah. 
Oh wow! I I'm completely unprepared. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, God, I would I would look at my favorite watch. I'd have a Navi, Navi time yeah. first of all. Okay. Um, so I don't know how much a Navi timer is. I would go all used. I wouldn't buy anything new. No. So no. Um, if we're talking, I'm going to do it mine in, 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 in dollars. So Navi timer is about three, three and a half. Um, so that leaves me, how much is that? To, um, my second choice would be, I'd have to have a diver. Uh, I'd probably have to go. <laughs> I'm going to get such such criticism, but I'd probably get the Squally One Five Two One because it's just it's got that vintage. It's not that expensive in the whole scheme of things. It's got it's it's a it's a retro kind of dive. It will take the place. It will never take the place of the Submariner, obviously. But um, okay, so let's say that we we're, we're up about to about four around right. the four grand mark. so that's already half half the, the the budget um the third one what watches do i really really love that, oh explorer mm, I, right. I, and the rest of it would be explorer I, oh, no, but i don't have a seiko i think i'll just slip a little skx in there as well do what i did <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's exactly. always room for an skx there's yeah exactly, exactly well yeah i mean and the thing with that is as well, it's like, even like on my one, I thought, well, you know, this is this hypothetical situation where you walk down a high street, you can't get into a, you know, there's no sub, but you could have any three watches if you could just go into a, your average AD. That yeah. That's what I thought, you know. But, I mean, again, used market, used second-hand market, I don't think you'd get much off the Black Bay at the moment mm. um, because it's a new watch, the 58. Mm. But the long jeans, I think you'd probably pick up around the one and a half grand mark. The Aureus Big Crown, I mean, that's a hell of a lot of watch for... for oh, you broke up at the... Used yeah, sorry, you, you broke... There was a little bit of interference there. Um, yeah, the last thing I heard you say... Are you still there? Can you hear me? Oh. Hello, 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 testing. I think I went there. Hello. Oh yeah. Okay. Now I can hear you. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. You know what? I've just realized I don't have, I, SKX is, if you went with the J one, it would be made in Japan. So it's, uh, it's still Japanese. Uh, I, w I would want to get something German. I'd, mm. I'd actually, I'd take the Squire out and I'd put the Zin, the Zin 104, I think. Say that again. Sorry, I'd, I'd take the Squirlet out and put the Zin One Hundred Four. Because yeah, I, I got to, I got to have something German in there. Yeah, it's no. a great watch. It's a great yeah. watch. It's yeah. not a diver though, technically. No, but you, you can easily dive with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, someone says uh, the flighty. Oh no, that's the problem. Oh, yeah, There's so many watches. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't stick to a little collection. I couldn't have one watch. My, I could never have just one watch. It's not never going to happen. It, mm. Yeah. Could you? Could you see yourself with one watch? I thought about it. Um, the, the, the trouble is with the, with what I have, there wouldn't be much. Put some of them, like my seam those. Although they are creeping up in value that mm. much on the on the and it, and it has sentimental value for me, so I don't mm. think I'd ever get rid of it. I mm. GM it off because that has way too much sentimental value for me, and I and I just love, love it. Mm. Um, and what else have I got? Oh, my date just my date just I could I could see letting go of at some point. I'm really but, surprised um, you didn't sell that. Before, you sold the the Speedmaster before the speed. selling the date just. Yeah, you, you know, I just thought. I don't know. The the speedy just wasn't getting the wrist time, and and I and I I loved it, but it but it was sort of I would put it on for a day here and there and go yeah great, and then sort of it just didn't feel like me. I didn't like the fact that I couldn't really get it wet. Um, it didn't feel like the go anywhere do anything watch that it purported to be. I don't know. I loved it, and there may yeah. even be another one for me in the future. But for right now, I just thought of all the watches, what would I let go of? And it was that one. 
Yeah. Um, so, but I mean, in terms of having one, no, no, I don't think I could just have one watch. I think I would do it and then be horrendously <laughs> regretful, you know, because the thing is, you know, I'd, I'd be an idiot. I'd, I'd get rid of them all, I'd chop them all in and get a Royal Oak and then I'd never wear it anywhere because it's too, you know, I don't want to damage the finishing on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, what would be the... Would be the yeah. I think... Um, yeah, it's it's that's the only thing that worries me about the Royal yeah. Oak. Is it, it, it look, it's, it's one of those watches that just looks... The finishing is so beautiful. It just You want to keep it... You know, I'm kind of scared to, to buy one. I'd, I'd, I'd baby it like anything. Um, oh. Sorry, did you lose me there? I'm still there. Hello? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Well, while, while Duncan... Uh, oh, he's back, he's back. I heard some... Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Oh, uh, there you are. Okay, yes, okay. you went away there for a bit. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it's I can right. hear you now, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll do some yeah. shout-outs. Uh, Matthew uh, was requesting... Where's my shout-out? So... Uh, <laughs> Did you already unbox the Tudor? No, I bet. I guess I'll better do that. I, I best. I, I best there. I guess I better do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't read that out. Um, <laughs> uh, super chat. Super chat. Sorry. Yeah. Where is the super chat? Is it? It would be nice if I could bring it back. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, Jeffrey. Sorry about that, uh, Jeffrey. Um, I've seen a, a Casio G-Shock mentioned a few times in this chat. Uh, I'm watching this, this stream uh, with a AWG100 on. I'll have to look that up. My, uh, my knowledge of references of G-Shocks is not very good. Thoughts on G-Shocks in general? Well, that's easy. Uh, I know it's not usually what you're talking about. Uh, well, I honestly, you won't believe this, guys, but a G-Shock is what I, of all the watches I own, a G-Shock is what I, I wear the most uh, consistently because it's my workout watch. I, wear, I work out every day, and I use it to time my cardio. I use it to time planks, to time uh, the, whole, the whole workout. So... Um, I just don't wear it out and about. Uh, I wear it if I'm walking uh, Ernest, a dog, you know, my, uh, my sister-in-law's dog. Um, I love G-Shocks. They're horological icon. They're, they're part of the history. They're, they're, I think they're kind of victims of their own success a little bit because people, people think they're just, uh, oh, whoops, pressing on something by accident. Um, people think, that because they're so commonplace, I see G I see so many G Shocks when I'm out and about more than any other watch uh, easily. Um, but that doesn't diminish their their historical importance, the innovation. I think when was it? In 1983, uh, Kiko Aibe came out with this revolutionary thing. Um, I've if you watch my videos on them, I discuss the history. It's fascinating. It's a fascinating story, I, and that's another watch I'll have to have in my lineup. I will always, because I can't do cardio wearing a Navi timer. Um, no, no, you know, it's it's just. Uh, I've done it. Well, and it was soft. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the Navi timer, actually, Duncan? Before I forget. No, not with the, no, not with the Navi timer. An avatar, um, but we're on on a leather strap as well. Which is uh, gross. Oh I, I, I put it, I put it on its um, on its rubber in the end. But um, yeah, I I I don't like where I used to wear my my GMT and stuff in the gym, but not anymore. No, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a, yeah, no. That's do, you, do you like the Navi timer at all? I do. Yeah, I think it's just one of those watches that always gets knocked down the list. Like whenever I might think about one there's always something out you know it's always it's always the one after the next one i want if that yeah. makes sense right. i don't mean to do it down because I, I think it's an amazing it's obviously an incredibly important watch and it's a touchstone watch that everyone should have at some point yeah so I i'm sure i will have one at some stage um yeah and it, in, uh, of all the brightlings that's the one i would be into yeah um 
Yeah. So, you know. Cool. Uh, what do you think of the new uh, Brightenings, just out of interest, the new Navi tones? The ones that the, they released, the SIHH or whatever it is. Um, yeah. Not my cup of tea, I have to be honest. Um, I'm sure they're very good watches um, and they're sharing movements with Tudor and stuff and um, I'm sure they're great, but they seem to have lost the what made them there. And the other, the other they've done that with is the IWC Ingenieur. They've completely turned that into a nothing watch, I think, in terms of its design. I just think it looks so bland and interesting. It's a shame, you know. They got rid of that whole gent gentry design, um, and they've gone for the denor, like very by the numbers kind of looking watch. And I think it's a real mm. shame. But the the new the new never timer, I look at it and it looks great. I mean, it looks solid, and it mm. looks it looks like a nice watch. It just doesn't look like a never timer to me. But right, you know, I've I've there's, I've there's still the old, old never time. Yeah, yeah, you can buy them for bargain. I, and you, there's the Mont Brilliant on. Mont Brilliant as well, which is like 38 millimeters, and they, I see them consistently on the Japanese market on eBay, going for about three grand, and they just sit there for months. And they, and I don't know if you've ever bought from Japan, especially on eBay, but they're mm. so meticulous in the pictures, and they're always pristine. Like this was from Japan. Um, okay. Yeah, and this was like 1400. And this is a, only 300 of these in the world. And it, with the Lamania 5100, it's like it should have been twice <laughs> twice that, you know. Um, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I'm going to hold my – I kind of like the new Navi timers. Uh, yeah, they're not the same. I will always prefer the one I have, but I like them. Um, I like the 38. I like the simple, that, that blue one especially. I'm waiting. I've been harassing everybody I know to try and to get one, and they, they, I'm not going to be able to review one until later this year. So it's, it's a, that's a bit annoying. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm interested. I am intrigued by them. I'll say that. And, I, and, I, and I've seen a few in the flesh in the, in the jewelers in, in the box, you know, in, mm. um, in London. And I, 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 like I say, I just, I, they, they are, they look like great watches. They look like solid, great watches, but mm. they, I suppose the trouble, my, my, my problem with them is they're called Navitimers. And I go, that isn't an Navitimer. Right. Which just doesn't look like one to me. I think if they called it something else, I'd be way more on board with it. I don't know. Mm. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Maybe it's my own personal hangups. So I've got, maybe got I was it. eaten as a child. <laughs> we got we got a uh, super chat from Carl. He says picking up my second of a three core collection. Oh, back to our theme of today, um, Friday, and it's uh, he, he's picking this watch up on Friday. It's a Navi Timer Zero One, forty six millimeters. Uh, he's getting the Amiga Seamaster three hundred, the ni the nineteen fifty seven with a bon nice. bon nato. Yeah, very nice. And the last so had, will be sorry, yeah. No, no, I was just going to say I had a three hundred. Um, oh yeah, you did. Will, will yeah, yeah. Not, uh, not, not the, um, not the the fifty seven um, one, but I had the I had the normal one. Man, it was a beautiful watch, absolutely beautiful watch. Yeah. And and the last one is a, a date just forty one in rose gold jubilee bracelet, chocolate dial. Thoughts? Oh my god! They do that. Can you get a date date just or day date? Date just forty one rose gold jubilee chocolate dial. Yeah, apparently you can. That's quite unusual. It's very unusual for people to go for an all gold date just because. Yeah. Um, and uh, but um, normally people go for the day date, don't they? Because I guess it's not too much yeah. of a leap. But very nice, it's very interesting, nice combination that the chocolate dial and the, the rose gold. That is a killer trio. That is, uh, yeah. Three icons. Um, I, I'm presuming Carl's a, 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 a got the larger wrist because that 46 millimeter Navi time is going to be massive. Oh. Um, but if you got the wrists for it, I know oh, the date just 41 is big. I am too big in my opinion, but if it suits your scale and frame and that's what matters at the end of the day, God, that is a, that is a collection that dreams are made of. It really is. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'll give them this for the, because when they revised the date just 
from the date just two to the date just 41 yeah um they made it proportional so i think that's having looked at them now and having held them and um tried them on um they are they fit a lot better than the they just to just look blocky and the bezel was too big and right you know it just looked out of proportion i think right right would you ever buy an all gold watch yeah i mean it would i it wouldn't suit me at all but <laughs> I, I, I love the idea i, I, I always no I, I, I love the idea of uh, like a day date one day yeah there, there is that in, i'm sure in my future if i ever get my little collection to a place where one day i can sort of chop in three or four watch it yeah that's it that's me i'm retiring now yeah (laughs) bye-bye nice i think i i have to put i'll have to be middle-aged and and a little bit overweight and like sitting on a beach in italy and then i'll get a day date you know yeah then i'll do the all gold nice standard yeah yeah yeah. um i just thing is the, the thing is about all gold watches and i'm talking about you know on a bracelet Mm. If I wore one now, walking around Queens, and just <laughs> yeah. very casually, it, it kind of cheapens the watch. It almost, it doesn't, how do I explain this without kind of being offensive? But it, it's like, you have to dress up to make it believable that that's, that's the real, because it, it, it would just look like any other gold-plated, do, do you know what I mean? You've got to sort of show the supporting lifestyle as well as exactly, just exactly. having a yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I hear you. I mean, although you could legitimately, I think, you know, I've seen people wearing yellow gold day dates um, yeah. with a T-shirt and jeans, and it looks cool. It looks really, really cool. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, Actually, um, I was talking to uh, another actor, another actor friend of mine, um, Jaime. Shout out to Jaime. Uh, he, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, you, you. you We'll do a show sometime all together. He's, uh, he's, um, he's a really cool guy, a massive collector, insane collection. I'm going to interview nice. him because he Very lives cool. in New York. Um, he was telling me about, because he's lived out in LA, and he was telling me about all the big Hollywood producers, and they wear like really kind of um, casual, kind of like, you know, um, as if they've just stepped out of a gym, but then they have these massive gold you know yeah. that's like the trend it's like the trend to almost the kind of look as as almost as homeless as possible but then have a really really expensive watch um, yeah i yeah. could it's the that. sort of justin bieber thing i think isn't it it's that right. sort of walk right. around and you know um, no, I can do that but then again you know if it's your watch you do whatever the hell you want to do you know yeah uh why not why not um TGV, you love aviation watches. Why haven't you? Why haven't you owned an IWC? That's from Lucas. Hello, Lucas. Good question. Um, I was considering an engineer, but the the, the vintage, the pre Genta, oh. yeah, because they're an absolute steal. You can buy them twelve hundred um, for a little gold uh, manual wind. It looks like a a little dress it's just a very simple plain dress watch that that's that's the kind of gold i like you know um mm. Mm. Gem, gold seamaster you know the date the 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 dressy one yes yeah absolutely absolutely um good good uh good question good question i i think i have Funny enough, I am getting some IWCs into review, so maybe they might convert me. Who knows? So yes, yeah, stay a, tuned. That's a brand. That's a brand that I've often always wanted to get one, but never quite known what to get. And I've always loved the look of the big pilot, but then I don't think it's practical. Mm. Um, I love the idea of maybe the Flieger chronograph, but then every time I think about that, I just think. But I could get like something like Longines Big Eye is just as much watch, if not more, because it's not just a seven seven fifty movement. It's mm. a you know proper column wheel, really lovely little um, thing for less than half the price. You mm. sort of go well, but I do love IWC as a brand, and they are they are a brand that I think deserve a lot of credit as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, I I agree. I'll uh, I will be making more more of an effort to cover them. In the, in the coming weeks um, I tell you what um, <laughs> so Michael says hey those of us in the story are classy gents uh, yes <laughs> thank you well thank you um, 
you gotta love a story uh i i tell you what guys if if you are in the chat right now please do share your trio or if you'd rather have a, a rolex submariner so that's that's the um so guys nominate your trio and i'm just i'm gonna do the unboxing while you guys respond to that and then after the unboxing i'll go back and i'll read out some of the some of the um three-piece collections uh, or if you just prefer prefer a, a submariner um yeah just have uh, pop it down in the comments um any last questions before i go on sub all the way says uh, putin uh well <laughs> he's of course he would, does. yeah of course he does yeah <laughs> um uh yeah yeah unboxing okay let's let's do the unboxing uh I'll, let me grab my knife a trusty knife um i guess i better do knife check so i'm using the benchmark, as as I call it, that much much to all the annoyance of uh, all the knife enthusiasts out there. Um, so yeah, it's just the little grip in it. I love this knife. It's so solid. It's beautiful. Semi serrated. Wow. It's a really. It's it's quite compact. Really nice grip as well. Um, so yeah, this is the. Uh, the GMT and guys, if you missed the beginning, this is actually going to be up for grabs after I review it. Hopefully next week, um, timeless luxury who are, who are lent this in are going to hold a raffle. Uh, there'll be details on how you guys can enter uh, in the review, so you have to stay tuned and watch the review. And then one of you lucky gentry out there. Sure. Sorry, I should cut away, cut away before somebody has a hard time. Yes. Um, is going to be able to win it and own this particular watch, which is really, really cool. I don't know if it's the bracelet or the or the uh, or the. Um... There we go. I God I hope it is a Tudor. It'd be funny if they sent me something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says Judah. Thank God for that. <laughs> oh wait, there's something else. Oh, that's interesting. So they've they've sent it. This is how you get oh. it. Yeah. So this is how you get it. The stores get it, and they, and I have the box. So ah, of course they send the box because whoever whoever gets it is going to have the box. So I'll just quick quick have a butchers at the box. <laughs> I believe they've revised the boxes for Tudors this year, haven't they? I think they've changed them. Yeah, I, I only have the old one for my little Tudor Submariner. Mm. So, um, yeah, standard black. Oh, it's a nice felt at the... Very nice. Oh, it's quite plain. It's got suede on the inside. Not sure if you could see that, guys. A little hidden compartment there. Just quite bog standard. I think they've... I think it's smaller. They've gotten rid of. They don't give you the um, the fabric strap anymore either, do they? They used to. Ah, that's uh, a shame. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Right, I will hide the serial number card. Don't want. Don't. Uh... Let's have a look. So it's completely covered in plastic. Oh. Um, yeah it's interesting yeah they're, they're definitely the same I, guys to be honest i ha haven't followed anything to do i mean obviously i i, I knew it uh, came out basil world but i don't know the size um i'll have a look in a moment about the movement i think if i recall correctly they 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 developed the movement specially for this particular model but again i will i will cover all of that kind of stuff in the full review in a bit more detail. I'll, I'll give it a little while, a week, maybe two, just to just to get to know it. Um, but off the bat, yeah, that wow. That let's just bring in my GMT. It's a very subdued, very subdued blue. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's 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 almost a more mm. of a grey blue. Mm. Uh, and the and the red is i really like the colors i've got to say they they nailed the colors 
We well, you know they took they took the blue from the blue black bay and the red from the red black bay, the burgundy. So it's it's the two colours that are already in there. Ah, well, thank God you're here to, <laughs> to, to say that because I wouldn't have known. Um, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, and they have they they want... got the um, sorry uh, they got the it has the Tudor rose and the crown. Mm. It's not. It wasn't the black bay. Didn't it have? Wasn't it black ink or, 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 or if I recall? That was that? the chronograph. That was that the was heritage the chronograph. chronograph. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But no, the black bay's already all. It's already, always had the rose, but I think on the. I know on the fifty-eight, it's just it, it's um, rather than being embossed or it doesn't have any of the. It doesn't. It's not ink filled. It's just um, the logo is just on it, or it's mm. it's like like Rolexes. It's kind of you know. Um, I'm winding it now, and it's it's. It's so smooth, I can't even feel it. It's smoother than the Rolex. It's smoother than my Rolex. Yeah. It's insanely smooth. I, I'm not even sure if it's winding. Well, it is winding because it's going. It's a beautiful thing. I think I think that what they're doing with those designs is just absolutely, I love that they've got, she like with mine, um, it's got the solid end links on the bracelet. Right. Which is sort of, a, you know, I mean, that, that has solid end links, they pivot where the old ones used to be. You used to the old things. It would pivot further into uh -huh. the case. That's a little watch nerdy thing, but it's like it just reduced the sort of size of the watch a tiny bit on your wrist, and you've got uh -huh. more of a you just got more flexibility out of it. And I sort of I love that they've they've kept that with the old with those ones, you know. The, mm. But they've just updated the ending kind of um, you know to be solid, but they're just. Mm. Um, they they still have that aesthetic of the old original sort of oyster right. bracelets. I think they they've put Beautiful. the um, the faux rivets on the. Uh, I don't know if you can see that guy. Mm. Uh, the faux rivets yeah. on the um, the bracelet there. I, I, I like I, that. You like it. I I do you know what I like do, the reason why I'll take that over the the ones they had before is because and no one ever seems to talk about this but with the older one for the Black Bay, they had the, the center links of the bracelet would just slightly too wide they were mm -hmm. obviously made wider to not look too much like an oyster bracelet right and not yes, to be confused yes, with, with the Rolex yeah. one yeah, yeah. They're on that wide. they're much more in proportion you know right. here on this one they're, they're, they're the right size and they look more like an oyster bracelet have you so, ever seen those old um sorry i didn't mean to interrupt um no. the old oyster bracelets that had the stretchy uh, the, um the one in Live and Let Die does that. You can actually see it in one of the, you know, when he, when he gives it back to him. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He stretches it. You can see him stretch the bracelet. Yeah, I know. So that was a weird, design. I think that was a thing you could, you could option on your Rolex. Really? They didn't all do it. But yeah, it was a thing where you could, yeah, it would stretch as well keep, as had a clasp. I keep pulling it to see if it's stretched. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I've only seen one of those bracelets ever in the flesh, and it was on a, a Paul Newman Daytona. You, you can see it in our wow. old video. Uh, I went to a, a um, it was a, a, a kind of preview of a of a auction. Uh, Leslie and Heinemans of um, of uh, Chicago. They were they had an auction here in New York. Um, sorry, Hi that sounded like I said Heinemann. Hind <laughs> Hind with a D. <laughs> Heinemans. Welcome um, to Leslie and Heinemann. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so once you go in you can't come back out oh god <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> lower the tone casey lower the tone. yeah yeah um, um, <laughs> yeah so uh um i i loved it i i was i think i said in the car on the way back i said i wish rolex did that again it's a bit of i feel like it's a missed opportunity they could have had it spring spring loaded or whatever they call it on here yeah i mean but then what was the purpose of it really I mean, it's like it's just because, stretchy, you know, just, you know, so you could just quickly. Like the old ones, I mean, I've seen so many of those races that didn't have a clasp at all, but you would just stretch it over your, your wrist. But it's like yeah. they, they did those ones, but they also had a clasp, which I sort of, right. was, which didn't make much sense to me. But I suppose it was a, just another way of taking it on and off. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I have to say, I really, let's just get it close up. I really love the, oh. um, uh, I'll just keep talking. I love the um, the GMT hand. I didn't expect the 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 uh, the little uh, what's it called the 
snowflake to be so near the end i i think it mm. i think it's really cool um yeah i have to say i'm i really i i i almost prefer this to the the gmt i just reviewed which is a bit of a bold statement um i'm trying to I'd think it has more charm it does have more charm i think the colors are absolutely spot on in this light it looks dark gray almost uh, it almost looks like a Coke rather than the Pepsi uh, in this light. Mm. Um, let's let's pull up the specs. I just want to go over and see what it. Um... Right, I'll come. I'll come back to the uh, the the, the uh, tube. It's oh god, it's very nice. It's a good looking watch. Yeah, it's... if I didn't have this, I'd be potentially all over that. Right, it's it's, it's stunning. Yeah, I think. Okay, let's see what people nominated uh, for three watch collections. Nathan says uh, Black Bay 58, Vintage, Datejust, Speedy Pro. Wow, that's a killer collection. Good shout. Good shout. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Dutch says Amiga. It'd be cool if it was Dutch from, uh, from Valverde Verde Dutch. But, <laughs> Valverde, yeah. yeah. Stick um, around. Stick around. Yeah, um, Amiga Seamaster 2018, uh, uh, PP5711. Um, what is that reference? I don't know protect reference. Is it? Is it? Yeah, right. So. Um, Rolex D-Day Yellow Gold. Very nice. That's a good collection. Yeah, you got it. You got it. some hot horology in there. Um, this is for the price of a sub, though. I don't. I don't think so. That's definitely they, they, not. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Russell says, "Nah, rivets are the only letdown." Sad face. Yeah. Um. I, I guess you like them or you don't. You know. Um, oh, this is this is an, this is an interesting trio. Uh, this is from Larue. He says, "Casio calculator watch, nice." Early 80s, from the early 80s, uh, Skywalker, nice. Mm -hmm. And my current Seiko SNK8809. Eight, uh, oh, that's a, that's a killer trio. Yeah. And that would, that would be, if you get a good, you can still, but you can still track down, a, excuse me, still track down a Skywalker from on the Japanese market for a couple of hundred. The Seiko SNA, SNK 809 is what, 60, 70 bucks. And the calculator watch, 50 for a period correct, 80s one, probably a little more. So it costs under 500 for that, for the entire trio. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a cool collection. I like Very. it because it's kind of fits together. Um, uh, that watch is stuff dream. Uh, the stuff of dreams, man. So nice. Well, you can win it. You, you'll be able to have a chance to win it. So stay tuned. Uh, John has a, this is definitely, he says, Rolex sub, not alone, not adequate. He would have a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2, a Lang on 1815, and a JLC Reverso Turbion. Well, that's definitely out of the budget. Not for the price of the sub, mate. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. But good shout. Good yeah, shout. But, uh, impeccable taste, uh, undoubtedly. Um, looks classy, mate. L uh, like, me likey, mate. Best of both worlds. That's, that's from uh, Russell. Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> from uh, Russell. Yeah, Russell. Is um, Russell Crowe? <laughs> <laughs> um, me likey, mate. Me likey. <laughs> uh gmt black bay gmt in-house movement 41 millimeters i think yeah I, it's it's the same yeah. um, same proportions as the, the 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 first black bay um yeah sorry i'm just kind of 70 hour power reserve is it yes that's right actually let, I'll, oh, I'll bring up yeah. the spec specifications right now uh, so it's the movement caliber MT5652. Let's just read a little bit about it. Uh, actually, at a glance, it kind of looks, it's, it's the same architecture as a, as a, 
as a Rolex movement, but the finishing does remind me a little bit of that newer um, GMT caliber. That that I forget what was it the thirty? Oh, I've forgotten. Thirty two, thirty five, or something, isn't it? Or yeah, eighty like five. Yeah. I forgot now. Um, right, right. So it was designed by Tudor specific specifically for this model. Um, so it has uh, open work rotor, satin brush, sandblast uh, details on its bridges. Um, uh, structure was designed to ensure robustness, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 70 hours power reserve and officially uh, chronometer tested as well. So it's cost certified. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, you're effectively buying with those. You're effectively getting what Rolex was about 10 years ago, or, or less, in fact. You know, you're yeah. getting a very compelling package with all of those. I mean, in mm. fact, more so because you've got a 70 hour power reserve, you know. So you just think they, they are at the moment. I, I, I think this is pure speculation on my part, but I genuinely think that a lot of those, those heritage line tutors are going to be shooting up in price in pretty short order soon. Mm. because they're just compared to what they're you know what rolex is putting out they're just so much that's such a value proposition yeah so yeah, yeah. we've got an, an interesting trio and i think this definitely is is for the price of a sub from alex it goes my trio is a marathon jsar zin 103 and an amiga speedy i that's really cool it's cool See, yeah, the Marathon J SAR, that's a serious, serious mil spec watch. I think the Zin 103, if I recall correctly, is that was that a chronograph? I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. It's a chronograph, yeah, yeah. Uh, and classic speedy, yeah. Yeah. Two chronos. But... Two chronos. Nice. Um, yeah, and and a really serious dive watch. God, mm. those marathons, uh yeah. Um Cool. Let's have, let's read a couple of more. My three watches: Graf Zeppelin LZ109, very nice. I talked about that quite recently. Uh, Hamilton Kaki Field Auto uh, Satina DS Action Diver, very nice. Satina are so underrated. They they got a really cool history. I ca I can't get my hands on them to review. They're for some reason they're really difficult. Um, I'm gonna just have to reach out to Satina directly. Um, the Graf Zeppelin, I'm pretty sure I reviewed that one. I have reviewed the Khaki. Uh, the Khaki field is a, it's a classic. Um, TGV, what is your opinion on Vincero watches? This is from Camille. Um, I've only handled one briefly, so I can't. I cannot speak for their long, you know, their, their durability over time. It it wasn't. It's a nicely made watch. I just think for that kind of money, I'd rather buy a Seiko with a, an automatic movement. Um, with, I just there's so many more watches out there I'd buy before I ever consider uh, Vincero. Um, they're kind of on the border of uh, fashion, kind of. I'm pretty sure didn't they start as a Kickstarter? I, I'm, I might be wrong. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not mad about them I, I got to be honest um, they seem to be highly favored by the the kind of style style vloggers or, or whatever um, which kind of turns me off a little bit but um, yeah I don't know I'd have to I'd have to seriously get one into review and get to know it before I um, but like I said there's so much more out there um, what have we got? What have we got? Yeah, I. Any, any? Have you had any experience, Duncan, with those? With what, sorry? With Vincero watches. Vincero, I um no um I'm trying to rem think of what they are because they crop up they, they they crop up in my various social media. Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 again, yeah, they're very they? heavy on the social media. If they're the ones I'm thinking of, they did they did are they quite simple? Do they have just a, a sort of uh, yeah. chronograph and a yeah. time? Yeah, yeah. They sometimes they can look a little bit like the you know the the, the fashion watches that we we tend to be rather. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, then if they're the ones I'm thinking of, then they look from the pictures they look very nice. Um, yeah. 
but uh, I've not seen one in, in the flesh or anything like that. But they do look like, like very nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Pilot Star, my good friend Pilot Star. He just, yeah, he, he just missed the unboxing. Um, I've, w my initial impressions, just to kind of recap, it, it's gorgeous. I love the colors. Uh, Duncan um, pointed out that the blue is from their blue. Uh, uh, from the, the black day of the blue one and the red is from the the red one um, you know what I've got to say the numerals I really prefer these vintage style numerals to the to the to those modern numerals and the, and yet they're different from the numerals on the Rolex they've got their own let's just pull up there you go not sure if you can see that they're kind of a little bit modern, but they're... God, I almost want to take the, the insert of this and put it in this. <laughs> Do you know how many upset people there would be? Uh, yeah. I, mine, mine has, mine's faded a bit more than yours has, my, the yeah, red of my... You... Little... Yeah, and yours it's... is newer. Yeah, true, true. I must have had it in the sun more, but it's, it's started to go quite pink and opaque, um, which a lot of people seem to love. I mean, I... I don't mind, I suppose, but it's um, yeah, kind of uh, lost. Yeah, I, th I, th I think um, I think yours is. Uh, I like that look. I, I I have to say, I like it. I've I've almost I started putting my um, <laughs> my Trudis of Marina in the in the in the sun to, to I want I want the petite, the tritium the old tritium to kind of oh, yeah. go a bit browner, and I want the the bezel to fade because I think it will look so much better, a little less. <laughs> dark you know yeah um right uh let's let's let, we'll we'll another five minutes and then we'll wrap it up guys uh if you're just trying to joined in um the, i'll post this again later and uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff um michael says totally agree to you be the smaller numerals and the vintage pieces and then the Tudor looks so much better than the new Rolexes. Yeah, it was a double double-edged sword because functionally it, it's that it, it's easier to read the new numerals, but it, it's to the detriment of the kind of it's they're not subtle, you know. It, it depends if you want. That's the that's all what it's all always about that balance between form and function and or or form or function and beauty really, I guess. Uh, mm. so because uh, i think that the, the new gmt is a lot more it you know with the huge those i mean look at the look at the um the the, the applied indices on this is, is a lot it's almost the same size if not the same size as a flick bigger but mm. it's not exa as exaggerated as the uh the, the, the rolex gmt i just reviewed um, I, I almost think they don't need to be that big on the new, the, the, the new ones. Um, TGV, can you show us the Tudor on your wrist? Ah, it's not a Tudor. It's the, uh, the Cosmonaut, the, uh, the 5100 La Magna. They, do they mean put the, put the Tudor on your wrist? Oh, put the Tudor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um. Yeah, I'll have to size it for the review, which is uh, there's all kinds of plastic. So, sorry, give me one second. How did you find the um, the Jubilee bracelet on the the new on the? Oh, it's amazing, amazing. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, it's the same Jubilee as on the uh, the Tudor. Uh, sorry, the Datejust. On the Datejust, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of extra. I'd have to size it, but. Okay, so I've got a really skinny wrist. It's about six and a quarter inch. So it's tall. It's very tall. Not very tall, but it's it's yeah, it's tall. Um, but but lug to lug, it's it's you know I can I can pull that off. I could wear. Yeah. That. I wish it was slimmer. I do wish it was slimmer. Um, if if they did that in a thirty nine mil, that would. Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. If they if they took two millimeters off the height, 
and made it 39 i i'd probably buy it myself mm. yeah so there you go guys uh who was that that requested that uh the the chat has moved on oh well there you go i do like the um the domed sapphire mm. crystal and i've forgotten how beautiful the beveling is on the on the if you see that guys the beveling on the case it's stunning it's yeah. stunning. I, yeah. no it's a great looking thing i mean like you say it could do with being a bit thinner but it's i still think it looks it looks amazing yeah right um hyper vigilance says my skx fits my eight inch wrist perfectly out of the box i was pleasantly surprised i i'm envious i wish i had that problem well not problem i wish i had that uh, quality <laughs> oh can we hear the bezel click yes i'll do that i'll do that if i can this clasp is wrapped in plastic so it's really difficult to to get it off uh, there we go okay let's 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 bring it actually i'll get my microphone here so you guys can hear it it's uh it's just it's just oh it doesn't really click there you go um so it's one two ah that's interesting how many clicks is that let's just count uh I think it's 60, no, is it? Yeah, it's 60 click. That's interesting. They've gone for 60 click because the, the GMT I just reviewed, the Rolex is, uh, what was it? It was, it was tw no, was it 12? No, no, the, it was 24. That was it because of, uh, because of the, on the hours of the, of the GMT, uh, the, um, the bezel. Mm. So that's, it's already got a slight advantage because I was I was talking to somebody in the chat and they were saying, well, what about certain parts of India are in between yeah. the, the, you know, well, there's a lot more uh, locations, but uh, um, it was a viewer in India and they were saying, oh, well, you, you can't set it to his um, precise times and, and compare it to the, my Rolex here, which is, a, I think it's 120 click. Yeah. Yeah. These are. Um, yeah. Um, so, it's. I actually think this bezel's better. Obviously, the the, the ceramic a lot more robust. Um, I still don't understand why they didn't loom the bezel. Uh, mm. Of the. Um, you know what have been would have been amazing. Uh, I don't have it with me, but on my custom modded SKX, I have a sapphire bezel that has luminescence, super luminova. It's kind of sandwiched mm. in. Mm. They should have done that. That would have been mm. amazing, just like the old Baker Light, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, ceramic's great, but it, tough as hell. But uh, anyway, um, Laz says, "TGB, what's your take on sec on the second markers?" not being equally long oh i didn't even notice that let's have a look the second markers um i don't know what he means do you see that guys i don't they look the same does it do you mean uh, in in comparison to the the hour markers I think he means, does he mean the minute track? The minute outside? track, yeah. Does he mean the minute track? I guess, I guess we, uh, who, who was it that said that? Um, that was Laz. Laz, if you're still in the chat, let, let us, let us know uh, what, exactly what you mean. I do like this, the, the minute track. I, I love how they, it kind of gives way for the date and mm. uh, the, the markers nicely uh he's right the 12 and the three 12 and the three right yes i see what you mean yeah the the markers are kind of embedded there i mean it's a very subtle touch i like that uh, okay. I, I think that's really cool um yeah i think the spacing and the proportions of the layout of the dial is is very nice the, the look at the way the hour hand uh, you know why they've done it don't you well they've done that 
it's Tell me. Shri- it effectively shrinks the dial, doesn't it? Because if those those hour markers are set back into the minute track, it almost looks it sort of shrinks the dial by bringing the outer markers in effectively right. because you you know they, those look like they're jumping out of the right the, right right the, right right the dial it's, absolutely it's sort of, it shrinks the dial nice yeah but it looks good I I think it looks great cool yeah I agree God I think I like this more than the Rolex. <laughs> oh well. well stay tuned for the full review um okay i think i think we'll wrap it up there i just want to check out any last uh, shout outs um anybody um tgv would you choose the burgundy black bay as a present for a graduating from college absolutely that would be great i mean if if i got one of those for graduating college, I, I would have probably tried a bit harder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I went to art school, so it was it was it was very laid back. Anyway, um, can't wait till Wednesday NYC meetup. Yes, next week. If you guys, if you're in New York, we're having the uh, it's we're, we're RSVP'd out. Unfortunately, it's, it's quite a small uh, boutique, but um, Bremont have very kindly lent us their uh, store on madison avenue if you can if you guys if you if you um rsvp'd uh yeah i i look forward to meeting everybody i'm very hyped about it i can't wait and um bremont says uh th- that they, they'll find an even bigger uh, place for the next one which will be in the fall um so i'll be able to invite a whole lot more of you which will be great and i'll do one in london at some point I'd love to do one in Germany and travel to Germany, uh, pro- pro- most likely next year. Um, London, we'll do London. If we do London, you've got to be there, Duncan, right? I'll do my best. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. Yeah, cool. for sure. Cool, cool, for sure. cool. So, yeah, stay tuned for London. We'll do London. Sorry, I say land, London. Um, uh, yeah, London. We'll do London um, uh, probably at the end of the year. So, uh, yeah meme lord london please yeah laz from london nice 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 okay guys i'm gonna wrap it up there it's uh six o'clock here 602 we've just gone 602 um thank you very much for everybody in their comments um if you're watching this in the future and looking back don't forget to like uh all of that good stuff I think the way YouTube does it, they actually show the um, the chat now as 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 you watch it. So you'll be able to see the chat, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, thank you, guys, all your super chats. Sorry if I missed any. Uh, we'll do this again. Obviously, thank you very, very much, Duncan. Uh, it's been great catching up. Pleasure, sir. Pleasure. Uh, yeah, likewise. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And guys, if you don't know, uh, Duncan got married recently. So, uh, yeah, congratulations again, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. Cool. Um, so stay on the line. I will. I'm gonna just sign off. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. Yeah, and and stay tuned for the review of this. As I said, this will be going out to one of you lucky gentry out there. We'll get you get a chance to win this in the full review. I'll I'll have the details then. So stay tuned. And thank you, obviously, to Timeless Luxury for making this possible. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for the full review. Right. Okay, guys. Buonanotte. Good night. I've got my uh, I've got my goat the roam. Goats do roam. <laughs> <laughs> my stepdad used to drink that. Right. <clears throat> it's, yeah. it's really, really good. Uh, so yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that now. Um, and uh, yeah, catch up with uh, we've got the admins coming in for a bit of a chat. So um, yeah, can I have a shout out, um, Anthony? There, yeah, absolutely. Sam, Sam Lowry, there, great show, guys. Thank you very much, Sam. Fantastic. Uh, uh, Jasper says uh, more live shows. Yes, we will do this more often. Mm. Um, Jeff says computer science for me. I have no idea what that's about. Okay. Uh, congrats, Duncan says Alex. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Thank you. Um, great show. Really enjoyed it. Uh, who, who was that? Um, uh, Camille says that fantastic. Uh, yeah, our oh, Russell, our good friend Russell. Yeah, congrats, Duncan, Gee. as well. Ciao Gee, for Russ. now. Yeah, 
Uh, Matthew said to chat. Okay, guys, we'll leave it there. Otherwise, it will go on forever. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.